You wanna be on top? Bridget Hopper was born in Australia, as were most of her fellow competitors. She grew up knowing the hot and rugged terrain and wanting nothing more than to become a model. Bridget's favorite hobby is daydreaming on particularly warm days. She and all of her fellow wallabies lay in the shade to keep cool when it's too hot to eat grass, and she dreams of the runway. And here comes Lizzie Springer, one of today's top contenders. Lizzie is a neighbor to almost all of the other wallabies around here. Coming from the island of New Guinea, she is not just a great model, but an impressive rock climber as well. There's a rumor going on backstage that when Karen Alexander is climbing, she can jump higher than 13 feet, the highest height to which wallabies are known to jump. Absolutely astounding! Finally, here comes Sasha Fierce. Look at her hop. Sasha is our only other wallaby coming from outside the Australian continent. She is from the country of New Zealand. When it comes to Sasha Fierce, she absolutely loves eating food on cooler days of the year. Grasses and leaves from low trees. Grasses do make up the bulk of most wallabies' diets. If you look closely at our next model, you can see how her teeth are flat. That just shows how wallabies have adapted to chew their vegetarian meals. All wallabies are herbivores. They also have elongated faces so they can cut through vegetation. I heard this next model has drunk in salt water before, but it's just a rumor. Some wallabies can actually drink salt water. I heard it was a certain kind of wallaby that can do this. It's the Tamar Wallaby. And our last model's diet consists of seeds and berries. I heard that our last model is sometimes seen foraging for food with other individuals. That's weird. I've never heard about that. Yeah, I thought that they were mostly solitary animals. We'll be right back after the short break. After 28 days of gestation and carrying your joey in the pouch for months, you deserve a break. Send your Joey to Joey Full Daycare. Space is limited, especially between January and February, which is the breeding season for wallabies. For more information, call 1-800-JOEYFUL. Sasha loves dancing, but when it comes to stomping her feet, it's not only to the beat of the music. In fact, Sasha wisely tells her friends of sense danger by freezing and thumping those feet. She saved her whole family last year with her unique foot thumping communication and some strong defensive kicks to a predator. That Pilates sure comes in handy. But don't forget about Karen. She uses her powerful tail thumbs to warn of approaching danger. What a great way to avoid breaking a manicured claw. Lizzie has such a beautiful voice that carries above all others. Her growls, hisses, and coughs are renowned throughout Australia. Wow, such talent we have here today. The idea of such talented tail and foot thumpers blows me out of the Great Barrier Reef. And now we have Bridget. She is really using that that tail to her advantage. Her tail is not only gorgeous, but is really helping her keep her balance while on the runway. Ooh, look at that. She is also demonstrating how she can use her tail to prop her up while she is sitting. A really bold move on her part. Well, she is quite the risk taker. And right you are. And now, here comes Lizzie. Lizzie is not only the tallest model here, but she also has the biggest foot size. If she was any taller, she would be a kangaroo. Oh. <laughs> Wallabies are categorized as marsupials. A male wallaby is called a boomer, a female is called a flyer, and a young wallaby is called a joey, and wallabies live in a group called a mob. There are four models in front of me, but only one can be Australia's next top wallaby. Our first wallaby was once hunted for her skin and called a pest, which almost depleted her population, but you've done nothing but impress us so far. It gives me great pleasure to say that you are safe. Our next wallaby, which is the brush-tailed rock wallaby, even though your family has been taken away from you due to the changing of fire patterns and invasion of foreign plants, you have showed us great faith and endurance. You are safe. 
Your next model is also a brush-tailed rock wallaby, but with a completely different story. She was separated from everyone she loved due to the introduction of new predators and the clearing of her natural habitat. You are safe. There are only two models left, but only one is safe. The black flanked rock wallaby. Even though you have survived a growing fox population, which has threatened your family, it gives me great sadness to say that you are not Australia's next top wallaby. Please leave now. You wanna be on top? Wanna be on top?